User defined functions. Objectives. In this lecture, you will learn about standard predefined functions, learn about user defined functions, examine value returning functions, explore how to construct and use a value returning user defined function, discover the difference between value and reference parameters, explore reference parameters and value returning functions. Functions are like modules. They are like miniature programs that can be combined to form larger programs. They allow complicated programs to be divided into ma manageable pieces. Predefined functions. In C++, a function is similar to that of a function in algebra. It has a name. It does some computation. Some of the predefined mathematical functions are square root, power, and floor. Predefined functions are organized into two separate libraries. The IO functions are in the IO stream header. Math functions are in the CMath header. To use predefined functions, you must include the header file using an include statement. Table 6-1 in our text has some common predefined functions for you to view. User defined functions. There are two types of user defined functions. Value returning functions, which have a return type, return a value of a specific data type using the return statement, and void functions, which do not have a return type. They do not use a return statement to return a value. Value returning functions. To use these functions, you must include the appropriate header file in your program using the include statement. Know the following items. Name of the function, number of parameters, if any, data type of each parameter, data type of the value returned called the type of the function. Value returning functions can use the value returned by a value returning function by saving it for further calculation, using it in some calculation, printing it. A value returning function is used in an assignment statement or in an output statement. Value returning functions. Heading or the function header is the first line of the function. For example, integer ABS, and he, this number is an integer which you're passing to the ABS function. Formal parameters, which are variables declared in the heading, for example, number, and actual parameter, which is a variable or expression listed in a call to a function. For example, x is equal to the power of uv. This result here is stored in x. The syntax for a value returning function is as follows. Function type, function name, your formal perimeter list, and then your statements. Function type is also called the data type or return type. Let's look at the syntax of the formal perimeter list. Here is your, this is your function heading. This is your function return type. Here is your function name. This is your formal perimeter or your perimeter list. And this is the function body. This is what you want your function to do to perform. Note down here where I have return number we're passing a number to the function. We're performing some type of calculation. And then right here, we're returning the value back to the user, the changed value. Return statement. 
A function returns its value via the return statement. It passes this value outside the function. The syntax is the reserved word return followed by the expression you're returning. When a return statement executes, <clears throat> the function immediately terminates, control goes back to the caller, and when a return statement executes in the function main, the program terminates. Looking at a return statement example, we see the two values x and y, both of which are type double, entering into our function. The body of the function performs the logical evaluation of x and y. stores the result into the variable max, and returns the variable max to the calling routine. Void functions. User-defined void functions can be placed either before or after the function main. If user-defined void functions are placed after the function main, the function prototype must be placed before the function main. Void function does not have to return a type. Return statement without any value is typically used to exit the function early. In void functions, formal parameters are optional. A call to a void function is a standalone statement. Void function definition syntax is the reserved word void followed by the function name, then the formal perimeter list, and finally statements. Void functions have two parameters. Value parameter which is a formal parameter that receives a copy of the contents of the corresponding actual parameter, and reference parameter, which is a formal perimeter that receives both the location, the memory address, of the corresponding actual perimeter. Value parameters. If a formal perimeter is a value perimeter, then the value of the corresponding actual perimeter is copied into it. The formal perimeter has its own copy of the data. During program execution, the formal perimeter manipulates the data stored in its own memory space. Reference variables as perimeters. If a formal perimeter is a reference parameter, it receives the memory address of the corresponding actual parameter. During program execution to manipulate data, changes to formal parameters will change the corresponding actual parameter. Reference parameters are useful in three situations, returning more than one value, changing the actual parameter, and when passing the address would save memory, space, and time. Our summary. Functions divide a program into manageable tasks. C++ provides standard predefined functions. Two types of user-defined functions are value returning functions and void functions. Variables find in a function heading are called formal parameters. Expressions, variables, or constant values in a function are called actual parameters. Function heading and the body of the function are called the definition of the function. A value returning function returns its value via the return statement. User-defined functions execute only when they are called. 